Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today is every other Monday and that means we are taking part in the AMVI Operation Joint Thunder Milsim campaign. You probably know what it is by now so I'm not going to explain. What I can say is it's campaign day five, uh, that's day three for the Grim Reapers, the third one we've actually joined in on. Cover, please take control with maybe a bit of an overview. All right, well, good morning, everybody. So as Cap was saying, today is the dawn of day five for Joint Thunder 2021. We take part every other week, uh, depending on if we piss them off or not, or we do our mission successfully. So we've been invited back again this time and increased strength to continue the conflict against Red 4. Uh, the first four days, we've completely annihilated pretty much their uh, SAM batteries in the northwestern sector and have begun to push inward uh, towards actually uh, Al Raqqa. So in today's mission, it's a pre-dawn strike. So we will be actually launching uh, before sunrise to continue the task of decimating the enemy uh, surface air threat, whatever remaining air force they may have, as well as targeting key military and infrastructure uh, ground assets. So just like before, we've got our flights broken up into about eight different mission packages, ranging from fighter sweeps and sea to strikes and troop transports. Um, below, we have everybody organized, and as per usual, everybody's been given their, imp their particular mission. Now, this one is going to be a little more, how shall I say, difficult to do. We're going to be expected to be very um, disciplined with what we're being asked to accomplish. This mission is going to have something along the lines of 87 people into it, plus or minus one or two. So it's going to get pretty crazy in the battle space. It's going to be very crowded. Um, because we've also expanded the operations, GR now is going to be actually fighting along the entire front rather than just kind of how we had the first few missions where we were predominantly in the northwestern sector and a little bit in the middle. During this operation, we're going to be having strikes all the way from the southern tip, uh, pretty much the border of Syria, all the way through the north, as well as some deep strike missions. Um, we'll be starting the mission right at around 4 a.m. local time with sunrise scheduled for about an hour and a half after that. So I know it's going to be difficult for some of you to navigate in the pitch black. Definitely recommend bringing some uh, night vision if you can. Um, you glutton for punishment at five pilots. I have no idea what you're going to do, but good luck. Um, other than that, yeah, you're welcome. Other than that, we have our typical tasking and mission. So if I can direct you to the upper left-hand side of the first sheet, we'll get an idea of what everybody's doing. So Colt 5, you're going to be doing a strike package. Uh, you're going to be targeting Al Safira military air base, so pretty much just decimating that. Pontiac 4, per your request, you are now a seed flight. You're going after some SA-2s and 11s um, at Waypoint Green Day. Um, you also have a secondary objective if you complete the primary. Uh, Uzi 6, you're going to be a fighter sweep. I believe you are the northernmost fighter sweep for this package. Enfield 4, that's us, Cap, will be in uh, Harriers, and we will be striking a military installation. Enfield 6, another fighter sweep. You'll actually be, I believe, taking off from the carriers um, in your F-14s. Yep. Uh, no, that might be Uzi. Yeah, uh, you guys that'd be M Enfield 6 is the F-15s. We're going to be taking off from Insulik. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're going out of Insulik. Um, you're going to be covering the northern slash mid approach. And then uh, Enfield 7 and Pig 2, you're going to be striking targets as well. We actually have some grab guys in their trusty Hueys now. Uh, you're going to be mixed in with an AMVI uh, strike package. Uh, they're going to be your close air support and um, KE-50 support. Your mission is going to be to transport troops and actually essentially set up a new LZ for us a little further inland off of Fart Madrid. So we've pushed back Red 4 in the north to a great extent, and this um, campaign is now shifting to pushing the southern tip forces back uh, significantly as well. The end state is hopefully going to be pretty much Syria dissected in half by the conclusion of day five. So we're that initial thrust to really push back the Red 4 in this case. Um, as we had last time, down at the bottom, there are a example of the comm plan, your mission data card, or one of the mission data cards. I know, I think one of you guys was kind enough to post everybody's uh, so you can pull your own, as well as your individual flight briefings and a uh, basic overview of the map, kind of showing your route, as well as where your target is looking. Um, 
AMVI wanted me to stress the importance of your comm plan. And this is just essentially talking to who you're supposed to talk to when you're supposed to talk to them. I know last time we got a little confused and turned around as to who we're talking to and what frequency to switch to. If at all you switch and you can't get a hold of somebody or you think you may have the wrong frequency, just go back to the previous one you were talking to, even if it's, say, tower or ground, and just, just ask for confirmation. That way you don't kind of get off on your own and get lost and out of the mix. Uh, because we have degraded the enemy surface to air threat so significantly, um, we are now going to be much more heavily focused on dealing with airborne interceptors from any of the easternmost runways that may still remain. So they're going to be a lot more, um, how should I say, they're going to be a lot more aggressive at pursuing airborne contacts that they aren't talking to. With that bit out of the way, uh, Cap, you can turn it over to you and we can go through the flights as well as your radio and transponder codes. Roger, guys. Uh, so we've got Colt 5. We've talked about what they're doing already. F-16s, we're led by Bear, four of them. Your flight is going to be 140.225 with the transponder code of 516X, where X is your flight number. Pontiac 4, SEAD. Hornet, I'm Wolf, Gary, Bendy, Space Chef, 140.525, transponder code 654X, where X is your flight number. Uzi 6, Tomcat, Skill, Apollo, 138.600 flight, transponder code 665X, where X is your flight number. That's a fighter sweep. Info 4, that's us, Strike, uh, 143.675 flight. Transponder code 404X, where X is our flight number. We are Aviat Bs, and I'd like to have a chat before we get going, just to get all of our possible uh, freaks sorted. Enfield 6 are the F-15s Grump Centillion Bean. Flight Freak 142.150, with the transponder code 541X, where X is your flight number. Enfield 7 are F-5s on flight of 138.675, Transponder code 5242X, Starscream Tail Chopsticks. Pig 2 are the A10C2s again. Blood and Danny, Flight Freak 140.025, and on the transponder code 532X. Ford 1 are Huey's uh, troop transport on a flight freak of 140.900, transponder code 402X, Macaboo Blight Shrack. Und endlich, we've got the reserves, SOC, and Shugs, I know RC's pulled out, so we've got a free. If anyone wants to come in, Aviate B3, now's your chance. Cover, should we, unless you want to go on to something else, should we talk about other freaks that we may be using throughout the uh, mission? And that may vary from flight to flight, but maybe we'll start with ours. Sure. So all of our flights are going to have the same basic makeup, um, kind of for their general flow of communications. Everybody's going to start with either their ground or ramp controller or fur controller. That's going to be essentially requesting permission for startup as well as um, permission to taxi. Kind of have to so in the case of, yeah, in, the case of mm. in the case of everybody going from Inserlik, uh, you're going to be talking to Beige 1, the frequency of 309.250. Um, that yeah. should also be the same for people taking off from the FARP as well as from the uh, carrier and the Tarawa. Um, after that, depending on which one you're launching from, your next frequency will be towered. That's yellow three. That frequency is three six zero decimal one zero zero for everybody out of Inserlik. Uh, off the Teddy Roosevelt, it's going to be two seven one decimal two five zero, and for the Farps, it's two five zero decimal four five zero. For us, Cap, the Tarawa should be somewhere on here. Then I'll find that in a second. Oh, right. We're up to, we've got our own human uh, guy, have we? Right. Yeah, ours is 250450 cap. That's going to be um, Gray 6, essentially. Gray 6. Gray 6. Got him. Terror. Yep. So we're not on 360.100. So. Nope. 250. Half the battle over here, Valid Viewers, is getting the right freaks in the right place, which is obviously what you'd be doing in real life. So this is a. Pretty much realistic thing we'll be doing. Uh, please continue on to Airborne's. All right. So now the next thing to keep in mind is because we will be talking to different people depending on what sector and what phase of flight we're doing, rather than go through the 16 
possible controllers, what I want you to do is pay attention to the name in parentheses next to what it is. So when you're given a handoff, let's say you're coming off of Insulic Tower, which is, is known as Yellow 3, they're going to tell you push, you know, possibly Beige 4, or uh, rather Orange 2. They'll say push Orange 2, so you need to conduct or consult your mission data card and look for Overlord check-in and then see where the one says Orange 2 in parentheses. That tells you that the frequency they're telling you to change to, in this case, is 257.95. So as you move through this operation and you enter different segments of that controlled airspace, they're going to tell you push a name. Your response is just, okay, pushing pink 4, orange 2, black 1, whatever it is, switch that frequency, and then you check in, them, check in with them. And their title is essentially either overlord in that case, or tower, or ground. So the the names that they're telling you to push to are just a way to delineate who is or which frequency you are actually going to. Does that make sense? All right, silence is consent. All right. Um, so just pay attention to that. And then, um, like I said, if you get kind of turned around, you enter something wrong, you aren't hearing somebody when you expect to be able to talk to them, switch back to the last known working frequency and get follow talk on from them. It can happen all the time. Maybe you enter something wrong when you switch from tower to your your tracon. Just you know, back go back, confirm, and say, "Hey, confirm, pink four frequency is X Y Z." Other than that, it's really not too bad. Uh, the greatest burden for communications, once again, is going to be on the leaders. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just you know, if you if you can't figure out what you're trying to say, just speak plain English. They would much rather you get the message across than try to sound. Perfect, you know. Okay. Any further questions now that we've gone kind of through the com, pan, com plan flow? Um, anything in regards to taskings or general what ifs? Anything? Do we call out our waypoints then to uh, whoever is the air controller of that space? Yeah, so a, a typical radio communication is, is always who are you talking to? Who are you? Where are you? What do you want to do? So, for instance, if you've just pushed off of um, tower to your first in route controller, your initial call would be something along the lines of Overlord, Colt 5 flight, checking in, passing waypoint 2, or approaching waypoint 2, or whatever. This gives them an idea of where you are in the battle space. They can compare your blip on the radar that they're looking at to you know, who they're talking to, and then they know that aircraft in particular is under control. I think last time we actually had uh, a near midair between two flights because one of our flights got kind of turned around on the radio they weren't able to check in on time and then they were crossing the same waypoint the exact same time another flight of f-18s where i think it was like a near midair of about 300 feet separation so we're mm. trying to avoid that <laughs> yeah that's happened at least twice uh personally yeah and i think i think yours is the one i was thinking of there grump um but i, I mean, had a, yeah i had a what was it a two ship three ship of f-15s fly right below me so, I mean, it, it just goes back to, you know, they're trying to manage, you know, 80-something pilots right now. The the 87 people that are going to be flying this mission does not include the 10 controllers slash the six actual airborne controllers. So there's a lot of things in a very small area of battle space here. So it's it's critical that they can look on a map and or look on their radar screen and say, all right, this is Colt 5 flight. This is where they're going. This is what they're doing. So... Make sure that your controllers are always aware, kind of where you are and what you're doing. And if you need to deviate from your mission or from your route or for whatever, just let them know that that's what you're doing. They don't expect you to rigidly stick to your, your flight path if you're getting engaged or anything like that. As usual, welcome to, to everybody for the, for the participation. Tonight we have a, a very, very big participation because we want to try... Uh, the limit of the multiplayer of uh, DCS, and we will uh, fly with more than 90 clients. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be approximately eight, more than 80 pilots and uh, 15 controllers that will take part of this big operation. So, as usual, uh, is everything pre-planned? And I think that you have already uh, check all information. This is the mission number six, and we already spent time together. And I think that is everything clear because I didn't receive any questions. Okay, so uh, I just take two minutes for um, for recap. What you is the comp plan important? As usual, tonight we 
just add a new controller because we are really too much. We have a new controller that is Overlord, as usual, but the frequency is the ID is Brown 9, okay? And it will control uh, all air to ground uh, units that uh, will have tasks in the south of Bullseye, okay? So, the uh, most important part is the IFF, is the check-in, is the uh, comp plan, and we need that all flight will be in the perfect position and in the perfect frequency during all operation, okay? This is really important because we are really too much and we need a very, very uh, restricted and particular uh, control and uh, precision. Okay, so I just ask at last that we need also a, a precision using the formation. When you leave the airbase or the carrier, when you come back to the airbase or the carrier, you must fly in close formation, like root formation, and yeah, then maybe. at final or at start, like in fingertip or like in natural. Okay. When you make the fence in and you go in the hostile area, fly a tactical formation like uh, line breast, spread, or wedge, or box, uh, arrow wedge, as you wish. Okay. Don't take too large spacing from the aircraft because it creates a very, very uh, uh, danger for uh, all operator in the AWAX rule that will have to cover the operation. So this is not for the aircraft that will make uh, a combat air patrol or SAD because they are in counter routing cap usually. And this is normal because we have a pattern that we know the position and we know that you make the pattern. Or other flight, please stay together, wait in the two miles as usual in the tactical formation, okay? So uh, we are at uh, day number two, is uh, really here in the morning, is uh, 4 and 30 minutes local time, 1 and 30 Zulu time. The sunrise will be at 0, 05 and 21, and so the uh, meter is uh, really quiet. We have just five knots of uh, wind uh, from 110, and we have scattered for 180 and few 360. Queen H is 3002. Uh, we operate as usual with ground and tower controller in Incirlik that have two different frequencies because we are really too much that will take off and land to Incirlik. Then Ramat David, Tarawa and uh, Atai and also the FARP Madrid have a same frequency for everybody and is gray six. 250.450. Okay. At last but not least, we have the Roosevelt and we have the tower and we have the Marshall for all uh, uh, launch and recovery operation on the car. Okay. As usual, we have two frequencies for the check in one is in the north airspace and one is in the south airspace. You have in, in your Excel file, you have all information for your check-in controller and your final controller as usual so uh, if i don't know if you have any questions because i think that i don't have to to underline other things for tonight well ketu from lanx third wing taking yeah. it from Tarawa. we are yeah. two crews and uh i would like to know if we have to delay our spawning to let the grim reapers go first or if we can all spawn yes. at the same time yes so we just place all aircraft that will take off from tarawa in the same channel of uh, uh, teamspeak as we can ask User to spawn uh, from one on the other one. I don't know what is your takeoff time per planet. If you check this one, you can uh, you check you can check what is your takeoff time, okay? And you can understand who will take off early, okay? Welcome. Very good. So the same will be for the carrier. Uh, all carrier player will stay in the same VHF channel and uh, knife in this case that will take the uh, tower of uh, Roosevelt, will coordinate the spawning and the taxi on the Roosevelt, okay? Yep. 
All right. So we hope that the Taken will work tonight, but work at if all not, times. Inventory. Yeah. So is work at <laughs> all times in uh, single player or in uh, usual multiplayer that we made in uh, AMVI with about 40, 45 uh, players. Uh, I don't know why during the large section with many players something wrong and it doesn't work. So we tried together with me and Knife today and it was working. Okay, I don't know. Uh, Katu, are you talking about which frequency of the Taken? No, uh, no, Taken for a uh, Roosevelt. Uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt uh, in Tarawa. Okay, la frequenza? Ah, il canale è 91, I think, 71 the Roosevelt and 55 the Tarawa. Okay, now I was thinking about some yardstick can interfere with the frequency of the Tagan, but no, anyway. No, 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 because it's not, uh, it's not aircraft. Okay. Not uh, an air Tagan. Okay, and guys. Two, one question. question. Yeah, User one question. Yes, at uh, the Dodge One flight from Ramad David, uh, yeah. there is a spawn time 0130 Zulu. I believe this is wrong. And takeoff is 0212 Zulu. It's almost uh, 45 minutes er uh, later. Is it something? Uh, mm, yeah, uh, you, no. ca you can take off when, you, when you're ready. No problem because you have a tar cap and if you stay yeah, on yeah. station early, it's not a problem. Okay, so so I will I will we will take off immediately, okay? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you. Inchley ground, this is code eight. Request startup. Over. Chief, remove the wheel. Hold eight. Inchley ground, appeal for startup. Copy. All right, so let me know what your weights are, and I'll tell you what deck this you need to take off from. The Ramadan, this is Dodge One. A mission to start up. Yeah. Yeah. Those one, you are close to start up. Uh, one twenty-eight oh six point or yeah. two Of course, you want to take off from five hundred and fifty feet off the de that's the uh, line-up point you want on the uh, tram line down the middle. Right. Lead check wheel chocks. Yeah, I haven't moved them yet. I still can't get a hold of the controller. Tower, good evening, Enfield 41, uh, mission, we don't have our 20560, request startup. Enfield 41, you are clear for startup. Enfield 41. Alright, just have to get that in to make him happy. Uh, let me know when you guys are ready. Copy, I'm on AP at the moment, but I'm pretty much ready. On the second sheet of those data cards I sent you, I've got the actual target waypoints. Um, so, depending on which number you are in the flight, you can input that on waypoint 7, like replace the coordinates, and that should give you the exact target. Neither do I, Valley viewers. I now turn the lights on so I can see something. Oh, lights! Lights! Beautiful lights! Take off order. Oh. Good morning, into the ground, Enfield 6, ship at 15 c ground shot. Um, and if you want the route signs and the waypoints, if you press map M, and then on the right hand side of the MS MPCD, click box OL something 2. OL, yeah, OL 2, and that'll give you the overlay of the track. I also turn off the map by pressing map M and then clicking map in the top right. Is RWR on hard in this by default? Uh, yes, unfortunately you can't turn it off. Good, works for me. Uh, it's like ground, contact four. You can limit it though, so that it only pings you with stuff that's actually yeah, trying to kill you if you click yeah. limb in the EW page. Okay. And I'm at the V to touch 16, touch you on that ground, contact four, four, requesting startup. As we'll steer. Okay. Well, to taxi to runaway zero nine. Uh, Good morning, it's the ground, Enfield 6, 3, ship F-15, Charlie's ground checks are complete and requesting startup in park 100. Okay, I think two is ready, guys. Confirm clear for startup, Enfield 6. When's our takeoff time? Uh, as soon as we're ready, we'll get clearance. I'll uh, get permission to set placement so we can uh, find our spot on the deck and then we'll roll up. Got the six. Four is uh, ready check. Taxi check. Four radio check seven five, and you're now three. Okay, three is up and ready. Terra, Enfield four one by three air is ready position at all there. Each of the ground, got six to say again. 
Taxiway November. I'll do it on the way out. Contact tower when holding short. Copy, clear to taxi to runway 05 via November Alpha, call to 6. Call 3, English check out, call 3. Call 3, call 3 to FS 16 or call group uh, request taxi for runway 05. Call 3, ground clear to taxi to runway 05, using taxiway November and Alpha. For the Modex, do I put it in the right hand four numbers or the left hand four number, two numbers? I'm looking for that on the side, I always forget what it is. Yeah, there's a it's really not in the plane, it's not set up in the plane, unfortunately. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, well. So you have to set it up on the overlay, which you can't do in um, the Rx mode. Oh, well. Any idea who our first overlord is going to be? I think it's going to be Blue 7, that's a south check-in. RT Blue 7. Alright, we've got our takeoff clearance, let's get in position then. Blue, 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 where's blue zero? Roger, I'll back taxi to the back of the boat. Good morning, Interlick Tower, infield 6, 3 ship F-15 Charlie's holding short of runway 05 on taxiway alpha. FL6, solo, Interlick Tower, you're clear to line up and take off runway 05. Line up and take off runway 05, infield 6. All right, we're number one for takeoff. Check okay. All right, brakes on, spool them up. Do a two second interval takeoff. Stand by. Rolling. It's going to be really laggy uh, value viewers because we've got 90 something people on. Okay, but you've got it, I think. Uh, back to the ground, uh, back to the ground. Okay, right, do we want to go through some uh, two finger checks, one finger checks? Let's make sure that we've got everything set to take off so we don't fall off the end of the boat. I'm slightly nervous. Cool, I've got up to 60%, hold it there, and then keep the brakes on at 100% until you start moving, and then just let it roll. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is friggin' terrifying. Am I going up? Yes, I am. Okay, you just crossed. Right, all checks. Check. 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 Roger. Waypoint 3 straight away, because waypoint 2 is like right off the boat. Two airborne. Set one power. Roger. And our transit altitude is 25,000 feet. Yes, we have a problem with uh, the engine now. Best at pump 5-4 Mac if you can get to that. Okay, you are on the... Speed check lead. 25,000 turning uh, right. Looks like heading about 175, waypoint 3. Roger, A7. The right. Dodge 1, 2 is in the right direction. Yep, no, this is good. Tower, uh, Check what are wrong. Passing waypoint 2, set steer, waypoint 3. So I think we're going to blue 7. And uh, now's probably a good time to clear your stow stop if you're not too busy. Copy, I'm for 4. So set it all the way back. Ramad David Tower, this is, uh, this is Dodge 1. Uh, shall I continue straight? I'm in the runway, uh, uh, at runway. One setting 179, five, two, five, five, two, five, two, five, passing angel 6.6, Okay, shall I continue uh, straight? Oh, uh, the 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 new cross over the top of the line, the bounce gate of the airbus, mission number 2005, Yeah, AFC by your left knee, it's not brilliant. Once you're at altitude, hit that and then hit the altitude hold and that should keep you steady. What car, are we on blue 7 now guys? I've got a bit left behind. Uh, we're waypoint 3 now, uh, oh, set on the steer cap, uh, heading 179 should be. Oh, good, good morning. Was it 3 flight? Yeah, which comms, which comms station are we going to be tracking? Mission number 2, uh, Right now we're with 6, uh, Terra still. Next one uh, I think will be, I'll find that in a second. Uh, overload, uh, uh, Why am I so slow, guys? I'm so slow. I feel like I've forgotten something. I need to zoom out on the EHSD. Uh, confirming scale button on the bottom left. Cycles through uh, all the different scales. Alright, uh, Change frequency to base 7. Uh, speed, what's, uh, what's your speed, please? 2505 to be passing angels 10. Okay, I should be catching him up, guys. I can't work out what freak we're going to be talking of. Did you say we've been handed off to Blue 7 controller? Mm, I don't know if we'll be over to Blue 7, but we'll see who they tell us to push. Roger. Blue is the south controller, I think. Every I know time. they gave us a different uh, final controller, but not sure who that is yet. Lee, look back and left. Can you see me? Or I've got the wrong guy here. Roger, Cap, that's uh, Atomic. That's three. Where the hell's the lead gone? I cannot. I haven't seen him. I'll find him at some point. Angels 2-5. Uh, I'll see if I can put a flare out for you. One white drum. How do they navigate in real life like this? This is ridiculous. Is that the moon? That's the moon. Still knows on waypoint 3, passing angels 1, 3, speed 230. Speed 3, Roger, 3 is uh, angels 1, 8, 5, 1, 9, has been 2, 4, 7. You pass the runaway. 2 is with 3. 9. Roger, copy that in the back. Get the nose down, get the nose down, get the speed. Anyway, proceed this way. And turn around, right, feel 4, 1, right is 3, 9, miles, waypoint 3, here's push. Copy, we're to Paris, fire, sir. Yeah, clear, uh, push, uh, push over uh, power. And, uh, I'm still 4-1, uh, station, push 2. Push to Overlord, uh, Brown, uh, 9. 4-1, Brown, 9, copy. Brown, 9, RT, can you get me Brown, 9? And, uh, Cap, our next station is gonna be Brown, 9. 262-1800. Brown 9, copy. Thank you, Arty. Go ahead. 
Sugar, where's he gone? Two is now on two six two decimal eight zero zero for Brown nine. Alright, we're in Brown 9 boys. Brown 9 baby. Three is uh, Angels 2-5 leveling off. One is Angels 2-3 indicated. Remember they told us we've got to stick together or otherwise we're going to get a Yeah, looking. I'm not sure if I have my countermeasures turned on, so I can't shoot a flare out. If you push, if the right, you've got an RWR, EXP, expendables, flick it up to all, AUT. Alright, I'll do that when I get level here. I'm visual on someone on my uh, 8 o'clock. Roughly come out now. That must be you, cover. Maybe, you guys got ahead of me? Must be, I'm about 3, yeah. I'm about your 2 o'clock. Yeah, three, let's fall back to lead, let's fall back to lead, that's him. Let's rendezvous with him then. Best cruise, we do have to use 0.65 mark. Lead speed, mark 0.7. In the Harrier, it's 0.65 for sure. Cruise line, uh, down right. Uh, it's, uh, most efficient mark. Roger, for fuel. Well, just, uh, I'm crossing under you, I'm going to take up edge on the left. Alright, one's uh, out of pilot on. Alright, where did you say that the uh, thing I was looking for was? For the expendables, uh, it's on the right hand side of the front panel, underneath the RWR volume controller, if you flick it up to AUT. Uh, visual flare, yeah. Two, fuel state 6.1. Very eerie, guys. Yeah, it's horrible. It's more of like a flight control, so it's like an altitude hold. It's like the A10 one, it's not amazing. And it will stay on unless you put a really hard joystick maneuver in, so it's better to turn it off and then maneuver. That's it, Red Boys. We are together, heading to waypoint. And all is well. Yep, 28 out of 8.4. 3, will my IR Mavericks lock on the buildings? FYI. Should do, as long as they're nice and warm. Sweet. That's the case, I am going friggin' air to ground mode, baby. Oh, that's bright. You zap, that's bright. Man, that's bright. What do I do about that? 
Oh, that's nightmare. Uh, that's the station calling, say again, your uh, call sign, please. It is a nightmare. Uh, it is a nightmare, guys. Call sign, Pontiac 4. Oops. Pontiac 4, uh, rather contact the procedures, right there, uh, if the um, map is up and you know visible, then it's fully automatically. Yeah. You have to push uh, center select forward. And yeah. I put in the map fix. Roger, yeah. In the top left, but yeah. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looks like we've got Iron Wolf on our blue nine, brown nine now. Yeah. Sunrise, please. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly AAA is going to be the problem over the target. There is an SA2 on the way in, but I'm hoping that'll be seeded for us. Right, well, let's keep high there. Keep above 5,000 AGL and we'll be alright. Yeah, I think 15,000 is a safe altitude over the target. Won't be very accurate with Zumbombs at 15k, guys. It's only good to about 14,000 feet. Um, and the target is 2,000 feet a, a, uh, above mean scene level, so 15,000 feet should have us clear. It's going to be day in a minute anyway, guys. About 12,000 feet AGL at that point. Flight sets here, waypoint 5. Uh, waypoint 5 is off to our left target, I think. Roger, that's the IP, 1.5. Yes, sir, right before IP, so it's a left turn now, 089. Traps working again. Come on, give us a light. I hate operating like this. It's impossible. Right, that's day. That's night. The only difference between day and night is the symbology. Turn it off, turn it off. Wind off. Okay, you might. It seems to leave your last set of trim, the, the AFC trim in, so you have to readjust your trim back to level, or put the AFC when you're flat and steady. Put the trim, uh, the AFC back on and readjust. Uh, oh, we're conning! Look at that! I didn't even know we were conning. It's perfectly overload. Uh, I read you five on five. I don't want to boast, but 90 or so players and it hasn't crashed yet. And we're nearly at our target, so boom boom. Right, IFF goes off shortly, I think. Roger, yeah. I can see them in my tea, uh, my uh, thingy, look at that. Fenced in 5.7. Cap is 5.4. I don't know how to fence in on this, I'm probably not even going to try. Just be master arm on and turn your lights off if you can find them. Uh, right, your left hip on that uh, panel next to the uh, to a refueling switch. Isn't there a master lights command? That is the master lights on the left of that. Oh lord, punch up side. There's external yeah. LT, flick it all the way back and that's lights off. Wonder. I ain't never heard of that boy. Project 5, uh, we're lord, uh, rather contact the proceed. Where is it, RT? Three will probably get the target first, so we'll need it for us, and then one and two will follow along the bounce. Roger. External lights go. Lower potential 4-1, but approaching uh, waypoint 5, that's uh, correct. Yep, waypoint 5, that's right. Okay, cap has lights off. Nozzles, four, check. Gear, the, check. Uh, Stores, choice good. Here. Maverick, ready. Potential 4. We're ready, baby. Uh, I've got left. This is uh, Spring Creek 3. 3, go for that. Three, just for the outro. Uh, requesting permission to fly 18,000 feet. That's the sunrise. Spring Creek 3, proceed with uh, 18,000. Copy, thank you. Uh, proceeding on the waypoint for uh, IP, okay? Springfield 3, proceed. Uh, picture is clear. Copy, Springfield 3, fencing check. Are we on waypoint 6? Roger, waypoint 6. Target point, target point question mark? 
Target point is 7. I've got another 90 miles to go, bloody hell. Big old mission. Big old mission, boys. I have waypoint 60984 Hello, Syria. Good morning. We're going to bomb you. These guys are so much better Harry and pilots than me, it's stupid. Oh, the F-15s. Oh, F-15! Is that a Grim Reaper down? Maybe. Possibly help. Our Baron Super Grum. The value viewers are asking whether we're going to be going at Angels 15 for waypoint 6, according to our chart. That's for, yeah, you can drop... I planned that so that we dropped into the IP at Angels 1-5 so that we were at attack altitude for the run-in, but I mean, we've got 70 miles to go, so I probably wouldn't drop down to about 20 miles from the IP. Well, we still got a lot of man pads right down there, and I think they're going to say 2 somewhere. All right, Jets, so established. We're going to contract airspeed of 300. Zero, zero. We're going to stay on this heading until we push waypoint 4. Uh, when I call fence in, we're going to turn all lights off and radar is hot. Got the CP, so he's on station of uh, Finland. Copy, copy. Lovely bit of sky. I can see an aeroplane over there. I can see an aeroplane. I hope it's not a flanker to shoot my face off. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Uh, I've got some gap out there, boys. For, uh, uh, north, uh, west, please, uh, uh, oh. uh, for, uh, for, uh, making, I mean, Roger, we're taking out north, north. Flight, head northwest. Uh, and we take them down. Overlord, this is, uh, Spring Fleet 3. Dang it. On, uh, Set heading of 330, roll out, Angels 27, target. 3327, roger. Field 3, proceed. Cheeky mix. Uh, push up to windows 360. 2 is fuel state 5.0. Overload, Amphil 7, it's possible. 4.9. 3, 5.3. I have to use my piddle pack soon, I think, boys. You. Yep. Jesus, the trim is ridiculous. Yeah, it's that AFC, it catches you up. Overlord, Amphil 7. Lead is uh, 335, Angels 28, level. I'm going to visual on your... 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 I'm going to visual on some of GR are only taking off at 9. Heading 330, egress away from the base. 4 proceed north west. Uh, we'll continue heading. What about you boys? My machine's starting to slow down. Yep, I'm getting a bit of micro stutter here. I'm doing all right on my end so far. Over to look, this is uh, screen point 3. Three. Here we go. Springfield 3, proceed to ingress point. One air faded strike. Springfield 3, copy that, proceed, uh, continue. Anyone know the total travel distance? Well, I suppose this is irrelevant because we've got no force now, haven't we? Roger, it might yeah, work out last uh, night to make sure we have enough fuel. Go for FF4. FF4, resume your mission. Resume your mission. Yeah, baby! F4. Resume that S. Uh, flight, we're going to set waypoint 6 and resume mission. Come right, heading 112. You got it.
to fly valley viewers, it's getting so laggy, kind of choppy. We'll say they did a hell of a job on the clouds and lighting effects. We advise we have uh, red uh, alert, uh, engaged by Dodge uh, in the north of west. Correction, north east. I want to get these bombs out before the cap really starts and it's going to really slow down. <laughs> yes, we don't want to be in it again like last time. I'm glad we were first up pretty much. Alright, one set. Three set, uh, right. Two. Damn auto feather, or AFC, not auto feather. Two. And then we're not 50% of the internal fuel load is. 7,700 full, so 3,8-ish. Uh, right, so if we get to the target and we're at 3,8, we've got to go back. Well, you'll be lighter on the way back. Ah, cunning. I think bingo's about 3-4. So if you hit 3-4, it's time to run away. Yeah, I said our, our emergency at 1-6, so we should be able to make one of the friendly farps if needed. If, you're hot, if we go up Angels 25, Angels 30, and stick it at 0.65, she just sips 60 pounds a minute, so we should be okay. Copy that, we're going to check right, 150. Hello, we're at Infield 6, copy is 150 for 75, we're committing, we have tally. Copy, Dandy. Okay, two groups. Each to fly around 55 and 65 nautical miles to our circle group. Copy that primary shooter will be uh, lead to. I'm going to want you to cover me on that. Let's go ahead and go uh, spread formation, uh, <clears throat> maximum distance, half a mile from lead. Okay, yeah, lead has uh, contact of first targets 40 miles out, angels 32 and descending. Next one out is. Uh, 55 and Angels 36. One, two, should I take the first target or the second? Two, you're going to be secondary shooter on the first target. Three, you're going to back up for the second uh, shot for the second guy coming in. How copy? Three second copy. All right, here we go. One, Fox 3. Two, Fox 3. Three, Fox 3. Three has a missile out on him. Leads moving to the next target. Disregard, we're gonna, I'm going to re-attack on the first guy. We have missile out, missile out. Splash one. Flare, 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 go defensive. Still airborne, we lost one. Uh, two. Roger that, three, you're still with me? I lost you, I went to the defensive, I'm turning back in. Roger that. 
This lot go defensive. Field six engaging uh, two bandits, one splashed, uh, minus one F 15 still engaging. What's coming up? Is it? Oh, it's a big 25. Oh, shit. That's a big 25. Flash. Let's see him now. I'm at your 5 o'clock, go ahead and make a left turn, rejoin, uh, we're going to go back to Angels T5. We're going to rejoin Angels T5, I'm uh, right now climbing out of uh, 15,000, going up to 16. Overlord, infield six, uh, BDA as as follows, two times, MiG-25 splashed, uh, minus one, F-15. Good news, guys, we're going to get the bright hard on. This is when she's full of bombs, she's very draggy. Come on, I want to get on that target. Well, at least we can see now, at least we can see now. That is good, yeah, I've turned my MPCDs to daytime, man. Day friggin' time. Yeah, I think I found a way to hook my uh, TGP at least to my HUD camera so I can kind of slow it, but you'll still be first in three. Hey, fam. That's why I got dumb bombs. I just gotta put the cross over the target. That's why I went with dumb bombs too. Mavericks, baby. Woo! Pushing the boat out. So I think our attack heading should be zero, not into zero. Yeah, we'll uh, drop down Angels 1-5 once we get the... Uh, Call it 15 now, since we're coming at a weird angle. I know there was a sand battery to the north. Uh, Roger. And uh, egress off target south. It would be advisable. Yeah, when we get a little closer, I'll let you take point position three, and then we'll follow you in trail. Uh, Roger, Dodger. Roger Moore. Seven. Sir, Roger Moore. Look at that, our boys are loading troops. They are. GR representing as ever. Apart from the blown up F-15. Hey, we made it off that deck in the pitch black with three Harriers and two of those pilots not knowing what the fuck they're doing, so... Uh, that's pretty much right. The vertical landing bit will be fun at two knots. Uh, a bit late. <laughs> as long as we can see, we'll be alright. Yeah. We'll talk you through it. I mean, we managed to land all these things on the Sea Wise Giant last week. I think we'll be okay. We'll blag it, boys. It'll be alright on the day. That's how we live our lives. There's some yeah, it's getting hard to fly now. There's a delay between my movements of about half a second, and it's really weird. What happens when you put 90 people in the server? Man, I really want to go full power. I really want to go full. Well, we lost an F-14. Is that one of us? Most likely. There will be spankings. Yeah, next mission they're going to put us on all the cheap birds because we keep breaking the good ones. Cheap, not necessarily bad, boys. Cheap can be good. In the right hands. 3 1, push point to uh, 2 mile separation. And 2 1, take trail 1 mile behind me. Roger. Back I go. And 1 is slowing, mark point 6 for ref. 
Roger, three coming in from your three o'clock. Man, I can't wait to blow something up. We have been driving forever and I can't wait to blow something up. Uh, looks like an SA, is that an SA-15 or an F-15? I can never tell. Oh dear. That could either be really good or really bad, guys. Uh, judging by how fast it is moving in reference to the HUD, I am assuming it is a ground-based 15. Which is probably not great. I think as we push northwest quite far, we're probably sitting over something we shouldn't be. Oopsie! That's a possibility. You see us up here? Italian object. No, it's a home. Oh ho oh, oh, ho! That was a bit... I was worried about that. I thought it was the smoke of a missile, guys. But it wasn't. Overworld Pontiac 4, passing waypoint 6, heading to ACP Rome. Here come the zone. We are four over contact. Proceed this way. Bum 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 Here come the zone. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Let's have it in tight. We'll uh, start a descent and ten out. I want to drop over something we're not supposed to. Roger. Get your shotgun, pa. Nails mid twenty nine. Four o'clock. Correct. Yeah, I'm just kind of cheating a little to the right, uh, or to the left rather, our target waypoint looks directly ahead of it, on my heading. Okay, I'm going to drop down to Angels 1-5 now. Look at that bit of sky. Alright, we'll follow you down. Roger, going 10 degrees down and 0.65 on the way in. Roger, one's follow. Over at Enfield 4, leaving flight level 280 for 15020 to IP. Enfield 4, proceed then. Enfield 4. Welcome back, Valley viewers, we are nearly here. We are nearly here. In flight set reference now, waypoint 7. We'll just go nose on target. Two. 32 miles, waypoint 7. Bearing weapons. So for the idea of the target is three going to put bombs on faces first and that's going to give us some fire to shoot. Yeah, it looks to be right off our nose, right under the uh, waypoint marker. I show several buildings in my uh, TGP. Roger, I'm going to hit the barracks, which are kind of in the um, west corner. It looks like barracks kind of... Yeah, that's the, the northernmost building looks to be a large warehouse. Let's see squat boys. Roger. Alright, thank you. Hello, we're showing numerous hostile contacts to our 12 o'clock. Um, please advise. Enfield 3 has gone air to ground mode. 4 1 air to ground. 20 miles target. Master, I'm on. One Where is this? Overlord Pontiac 4, we've got multiple hostile contacts to our front. Um, please advise. I think I shut down, I'm all. That's an order. Leveling out Angels 1 5. 1 and 2, one, two, three, angels. two zero. we're going to go down a little more aggressively here now. Boom boom time, guys. We should do. One nineteen miles target out of Angels. No, uh, I've mixed feelings about the Harrier, guys. So we won't go through. Roger, I'm at nineteen miles and counting. One hundred and fifty-six seconds to drop. We level bombing it. Negative dive. Uh, I'll dive in from four miles. I think I see something at the waypoint, chaps. So I'm setting you up. Target thirty Why degrees. Why did I bring a TGP? Stupid man. Oh, there they are. Negative. I'm saying left thirty degrees. Anything you want Cap to shoot, guys? Say again? Anything you particularly want me to go for? Uh, go for the left side of it. I'm going to hit the big warehouse building on the most uh, eastern side there, Cap. I think he's going to take the trees, going to take the barracks that are also southeast. Roger. That's going bombs. Level now, Angels 1 5, 12 away. 
12 away. Wow. Roger, I'm 13 away. Oh. Doesn't matter. Okay, behind us. I got Roger, confused. Roger, I fucked up. Let me just get some speed back in it. We're good. Uh, one will hit it. I see my target. Roger. Right. 29 nailed. 6 o'clock. Fuck up, baby. Visual. I'll see. Is that a locked target, guys? Is that a locked target? Unknown. When the Maverick is successfully locked, three, what will I see in terms of crosshair? The crosshair should go really tight in on the target. Yeah, I thought that. That's not a good thing. Come on, give me a building, baby. Give me... Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm going to make you bleed. One six point seven. I'm going to start my dive here at about two miles. Anyone on the range of this thing? Three offsetting left, 30. Two rifle. Okay, slow down. Woo! Through five degrees, nose down. Howdy goes, boys. Howdy goes. One's 15 degrees, nose down. Two, two rifles out and heading cold. Go on, three in the uh, west. Hey boys, let's get some bombs out. Go on, pickle. One's off, right? 500 pounds of plate time fuel. Okay, bombs. Three is off west, west climbing. Three. Off south, so great climbing. Oh, the sun has just come up. Look at that. One's off north. Look at the damage the rifles did, boys. Direction off west. Look at the damage the rifles did. One's queuing up rockets. Going to go back in one more pass. Two running in. I've got a couple few more passes to go, guys. Okay, yep. let's do two. Roger, I'll set up primary range. Go for uh, outlying buildings. They on fire, baby. One's rolling in over the top. <laughs> One F4 overload. Go for Pony F4, we're engaging target now. One F4, uh, uh, kick uh, west. Roger, kick west. Flight, head west. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yep, we're gonna be engaged. Head in west. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Let's get back up against 2 5. Climbing Angels 25 West. Heading 270 will rejoin. Fuck it, drop the bombs! Oh no! 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 Why did I do it? Two missions in a row, guys. Can you believe it? Two missions in a row. I can't help it. I'm too impulsive. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. One, two, please reduce your speed by camera. Up. MP6 overload. Overlord, go for Enfield 6. MP6, bra 184, 76 miles, 35,000. Two contact, hot, commit. Overlord, infield 6 committing to uh, targets at, uh, say, Braz again. 184 for 75, copy, thank you. One, do you have a lock? A for him, I got them. All right, two, I want you to stay trail. Uh, when I go cold, I want you to re remain hot and uh, keep the pressure on him. And when you call cold, I'll turn hot. Move up a little uh, chainsaw.
Lead music on. They are jamming. Lead is committing. Leads burnt through. It looks like they're firing. I'm firing in return. Fox 3 turning cold. I have to turn cold as well. Copy that, do it. Lead Fox 3. Two go hot. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Fox 3, all the chats are pretty long. Splash 1. Go 3 2, Fox 3 long. Uh. Is that two splash? I just saw another one come down. You see him? Do you see him? He's on my. He's on me. Go defensive. Overlord, good six, I see eight as fit. Yeah, negative. We still have a hostile. Well, I'm scanning for him now. Overlord, infield six showing merge with one uh, big twenty nine. Uh, can we get a bra call, please? Overlord, Enfield 6 is showing merge with one hostile, uh, probably MiG-29. Can I get a uh, bogey dope, please? Copy, six, 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 copy as we're returning to the station. Copy. Welcome back. We just realized that I can actually film in, uh, uh, what do you call it? What is this? Spectators mode. Spectators mode. I can do external view. Uh, I can see the F-10 and it looks crazy, but I better not show it because I'm going to get in trouble. Um, boys, I've been out for about half an hour or so. Do you want to tell me what's been, what happened after I bombed my own face? So immediately after you died, we were vectored off station because we got crushed by some MiG-29s. So we hit our targets um, in the first pass, so it's at least successful. Um, and then we vectored away from those MiG-29s and then got sent home. We're about 40 miles from that now. And on the way, we discovered that that uh, 15 that we saw was actually an SA-15. So we had to defend a couple times with it sandwiched oh, on the way out. That's a shame I missed but that. Event, 
Yeah, it's smooth sailing so far, but they're still yeah. going to land this down on boat. Roger. Okay, I'm going to go and watch some other GR members. Um, let me know when you're coming in for landing. Yeah, will do. Field six committing at 175. He's gonna go gate and uh, begin the engagement. Stand by. Overlord, Enfield six has tally on jamming contacts, uh, continuing to commit. Overlord Enfield 6 copies one friendly in the in the suit. Okay, we have uh not range here. Alright, I got eyes on both the contacts. Overlord, Enfield 6, uh, engaging ban two times bandits heading towards us. Currently, uh, 170 for 23 engaging. Enfield 6 1, Fox 3, times 2. Start going defensive. Keep your eyes out for him. Going guns, guns, guns. I have a lock and I'm ready to fire. Negative, negative, I'm in the merge. Roger, I see you, I have a drill. I'll stay far. Overlord Enfield 6 1 merge with contact, going guns, guns, guns. Baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Splash one. Nice. Good job. Copy, put it. Okay, looks like Iron Wolf has suspended all his weapons, Zello. Whatever he had. What did he have? Okay, these guys are flying Harriers as well. They've expended their ordnance, so they've done their mission, whatever it was. Meow. These guys look like Cap, I guess. Cap slash Escort. They appear to have all their weapons, so it doesn't look like they've been in combat, but I may be wrong.
these guys have expended their weapons, so they've done their job, they're on their way home. Tank busters are still up to something. Not sure what. That's a GR guy. Okay, these guys have been dropping LGBs and they've used some. Which is good. Oh, it looks like they're attacking this airbase, look. Okay, more GR guys in hogs this time. Oh, there's a hind down there. Get some, baby. Oh, zap, zap, zap. Nice. These guys have done their mission. Tower infield six on short final for runway zero five requesting permission to land. Infield uh, six, you are clear to land runway zero five. Clear to land zero five, infield six. Victor, you can uh, turn to the left uh, to join the final runway zero five. Okay, that's one on the right. Thank you, you can push down. Thank you. Select uh, Pontiac 4, descending through 5180, respectors. Pontiac 4, heading uh, 320, descend 3000 feet. Pontiac 4, heading 320, descend 3000. Okay, boys, I'm watching you. Don't mess this up. That's an order. Uh, I've never done this before, Cap. I usually, when I'm coming into the final thing, make sure take uh, landing waters on, and I usually use about 82% uh, nozzle position, but I guess Atomic will know better. Yeah, I'm just going to go by fuel. <laughs> yeah, I'm moves up. To atomic. Uh, he's holding high since I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I don't want him to hit me. Power on. Power on. Good. You can keep your power on. Full power. Oh, two oh, arrows down. Could I clip? We're sort of on the carrier. Down here. What, what happened? Jammed in the failings. Just just not enough power. We weren't on the boat. Oh, I thought I was all the way on. No, oh, we're near. Oops. All right. it's, oh. I'm on it. It's not slipped off. As long as we go back to spectators, we don't lose it. Perfectly valid cap. Oh. Yeah, yeah, all right. We're good. Oh, it's not our day today, is it, boys? Oh. Go on and get him down. Let's get him down so we can all go to bed. Right, welcome back, valued viewers. Didn't go to plan, obviously. I guess that's GR. Uh, you're doing our debrief, apparently, so send. Cool. Well, we got off the boat in the dark, and it was okay, I suppose. Uh, we all rejoined en route to Waypoint 3, uh, Angels 2-5, um, and then we kind of... It was fairly uneventful from there on in until we past ACP Casablanca um, at which point we were diverted northwest because of a pop-up group of whatever the two nine nails were from um, we then rolled back in on target heading and 
we didn't get much time over the target before we were called off west um, and then we lost cap somewhere along the way yeah I went into um, a bit of a panic bomb and bombed myself because yeah um, and then me and cover went back via kind of straight route back to the Tarawa um, and we got eyes on some missile launches like sand launches ahead of us which then locked us and shot at cover so we had a bit of an evasive maneuver mm -hmm. to get away from that and then it was pretty uneventful back to the ca the, the Tarawa again um, and did a took me a couple of goes around to get slow enough to land on the tower because it wasn't moving very fast mm -hmm. a couple crash but, but other than that, fair, that was his first carrier landing so it's not it's not really easy on your first time yeah yeah it's pretty hard stuff yeah if you pretty notice valley viewers two of us didn't actually know what we were doing in the <laughs> but we kind of blagged it at least we did our actually did our mission with a horrible lust rate we did our mission anyone else in gr chat room that wants to debrief i don't know what flights most are what? still flying most i think uzi six uh the tomcat flight send all right, so uh, both myself and Skill, and uh, yeah, myself and Skill got in our F-14s, and we started having uh, connection issues, disconnection issues, typical uh, issues cats. going along with the Tomcats right now after 2.7. Well, there's, there's, there's a reason why the only people flying Tomcats at the moment in GR. <laughs> yeah, Thank so you, um, you, so we ended up uh, trying to deal with this stuff. We couldn't take off until about 20 minutes late from our, our hit time to take off, at which point it was just me on the deck. So I had a human Rio. We decided to get clearance to take off. We took off, and immediately after my takeoff, I had I, uh, my Tomcat suffered a random left engine fire failure, and we nosedived into the drink. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? I'll see, we hardly even got yeah. gutted. Yeah, it's just how it is at the moment, unfortunately. All right. Um, any other groups here that want to debrief? Are they still flying? Yeah, uh, hello guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm back. I'm flying off in a tank. And... Yeah. Uh, uh, go ahead. Tail, do your debrief. Yeah, give me one second. I just need to shut down this here, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and field seven flight. Uh, we took off from in Cyrillic as uh, planned, uh, successfully navigated all the way to the target. When we reached the target area, we couldn't find the target. <laughs> we were looking for about 20 minutes until we get engaged by like uh, uh, by like Mikois. Uh, we go evasive, go away, uh, back to our IP point, get back to the target, finally finds it, takes it down. So yeah, one EWR well done. less on the red side and uh, yeah, after that the successful RTV. Well done boys. Um, did we say someone else? Uh, Grump, you here? Um, so we were infield 6, a three ship of F-15s. We took off from Inserlik uh, a little bit early because um, it sounded like Cap needed to be up in the air as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so we continued through uh, con into the north corridor of Syria and went through ACP Oslo to do a fighter sweep uh, where we engaged three flights of two air, uh, three, yeah, three flights of two aircraft, six right. total. Um, unfortunately, lost Bean in the first engagement, um, but uh, uh, Centillion and I went in to clean up the rest of it. So we had six flashes total and minus one F-15. We're currently RTB back. To Interlick, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the ground. Roger, you did a good job. When I had a quick look on the F10, I noticed most of the MiG flights were down, so that's good. Well done, you boys. Any other flights here that want to debrief while I've got them? All right, guys, the rest are still flying. It sounds like generally we all did our mission, which is nice. Uh, obviously, there were some weird problems and stupid things happening, but so at least at least we got that done, guys. Right, um, I'm gonna go get to work, guys. Uh, well done for taking part and doing all the prep. I will see you on Wednesday, whatever the hell we're doing. Copy that. Yep. Cheers, boys. Later, Cap. See you then. Later, boys.